Hello everyone, I'm Ning Liu. Today I'm going to present our work entitled Control-Oriented Modeling and Analysis of Tubular Dielectric Elastomer Actuators Dedicated to Cardiac Assist Devices. First of all, please let me introduce the research background. We work on a tubular DA as a soft medical robot, which can replace part of the aorta in order to treat the heart failure. As shown in this, in this video, the DA is pre-stretched under the internal pressure of the fluid. By activating and deactivating it, the DA can better ease the deformation of the heart. So why do we choose this actuator? Well, it's because the DA has fast response time and a large deformation under high driven voltage. The tubular DA under investigation is composed of multi-layers of electrodes with the dielectric elastomers in between. In the previous video, the tubular DA has a stable deformation. However, it has been reported that once the applied voltage passes certain limits, the deformation will be no longer stable. From a control point of view, one can implement a controller to the tubular DA system in order to modify its stability. This controller design requires a precise dynamic model. Several static models have been proposed in the literature. A dynamic land parameter model has also been established, which focuses on the elongation of the tubular DA. In our paper, we have firstly proposed a nonlinear multiphysic dynamic model of the tubular DA with radial deformation. To start it easily, the tubular DA is simplified as illustrated in the red figure. It focuses only on the deformation of the middle point of the tube. The DA is actuated by these forces. By choosing these state variables, the dynamic model of the simplified tubular DA is presented by the following equations. After the establishment of the model, several parameters are unknown and need to be identified. The experimental setup is presented here. The tubular DA is actuated by both applied pressure and applied high voltage. The radial deformation is measured by a 2D laser. The identification is carried out with two types of input signals. We first apply a ramp input to identify the hyperelastic coefficients with input voltage of amplitude 4 kV and of 7 kV. Our model has both a good fitness. Moreover, if we plot the relation between applied pressure and the DA middle point deformation, it illustrates the aforementioned electromechanical instability. Next, we apply the step input to identify the viscoelastic parameters. With input voltage of amplitude 4 kV, our model has a good fitness of more than 96%. The identified parameters are hereby validated in the red figure with different applied voltages. In conclusion, we have proposed a nonlinear dynamic model of the tubular DA with large deformation. Different from the existing works, we consider also the circumferential force and the electromechanical instability. The proposed model is validated experimentally. That's all for my presentation. Thanks for your attention. Your questions and remarks are welcomed.